Hi guys, it's Jen. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys on how I customize and organize my MacBook. So it's gonna be a very easy and brief process because I'm a very simple person and I don't like to customize my MacBook too much and I also don't want it to look too extra. I still want it to look aesthetically pleasing and beautiful. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. This is basically my MacBook. As you guys can see, it is a, it's a gray MacBook Pro 13 inch. And whatever it is that I'll be showing you today, I'm pretty sure it may be applied to any type of Mac that you're using. So whether it's Air or whatsoever it is. And yeah, before you get into the customization process, you want to make sure that you organize your laptop beforehand. You delete the things that you no longer need. So you scheme through again your finder, your downloads, if there are any videos, photos, or datas that you want to delete, you should totally delete them. And if you think they're unnecessary, just throw them away. It really helps to save up a lot of storage in your Mac and you're able to use them for something else that's more useful. And that's what I did. All right guys, so this is basically my MacBook screen before it was customized. And as you guys can see, the files are everywhere. There are folders scattered all over the place and I have a lot of screenshots. This is actually pretty messy, you guys, and it's not organized. If you want to check on your storage, it's actually very easy. All you need to do is basically go to the top left corner. There's the Apple sign. You just go to about this Mac and then you want to go to storage. And then in here it shows everything that has been used. Say for example, your docs, your apps, systems, whatever it is. So basically it shows you on which part of your Mac is actually taking up the most storage. Say for example in mine, it is my documents. I might want to go to documents and delete a few things that I don't need anymore. As you guys can see, this is basically my home screen right now. It has been customized and of course you guys can tell there is a huge difference. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how I got my sticky notes. Here's basically my sticky. As you guys can see, it's on the top left corner. So all you need to do is go to launchpad and go to search and type stickies. So it's very easy. Here are the sticky notes. There we have it. We can customize the color as you guys can see. I personally like gray. I'm gonna go and stick with gray and I'm just gonna copy paste my thing and we can resize it to however small or big you want it to be and we can move this over here. You can actually have more than one stickies and all you need to do is go to files, new note, and then there we go. That is it. And if you want to customize again, I'll have gray and we can just put this over here and resize it a little bit. All right, so um, what note is there that I have to put for my second sticky? Oh my gosh, Blackpink is going to release their new single. It's, I think it's on the 26th. Woohoo! I'm actually not a K-pop fan, but I enjoy listening to Blackpink. Yes, it is on the 26th this month and it's going to be at 6 p.m. Blackpink new release. That's it, you guys. And then you can change your fonts. You want it bold or italic or underlined. You just go to edit and then you can choose whichever it is that you want. And then you will have it. And you can also make them bigger. It's very easy, see? Just click bigger and it will pop up this way. Let's move on to how I customized my folder, which is this one, the pink one right here. Yeah, it looks really cute, right? I personally really like the folder itself. It actually looks really pretty and I'm just gonna keep it that way. So what you wanna do here is you click on the folder that you wanna customize and then you wanna right click to it. If you're using your touchpad, just use two fingers and tap on your touchpad at the same time. And then you're gonna go to get info and then this appears. You're gonna click on the file on the top left yeah, it's this one. You're gonna copy that. You guys can click on comment C or you guys can go to edit and copy. That's it, you guys. And what you wanna do now is go to launchpad and go to preview. And then you wanna go to file and new from clipboard. So this will actually appear on your screen and this is the part where you can customize the colors. You're gonna go to this part over here. That is your markup toolbar and you're gonna go to adjust color. So from here, you guys can choose whatever color it is that you want. I'm gonna go with tint and we're gonna click on the file. So it turns a little bit orange and now it turns pink. And I'm gonna increase the exposure by a little bit so that it's a bit more lighter of a pink. 
and then we're gonna increase the sepia is it yeah just a little bit so that it has like an orange effect and then yeah i think i like this it looks pretty nice for my background screen so we're gonna stick to this all right guys so now we're gonna copy this by scanning the whole thing we're gonna go and click comment a after you click comment a we're gonna copy it so comment c or edit and copy we're gonna go back to our file click on the same file and we are gonna paste that by clicking the comment v and that is basically it you guys as you guys can see here it's done. So now we're gonna do the same for the rest of the folders. And all we need to do for that is just to copy paste. And we're gonna do the same. We're gonna open the folder that we edited just now. We're gonna go to get info. We're gonna click on that file and copy it. So we're gonna go to the other folder, get info, and then we're gonna paste it. Just like copy pasting. That's it, you guys. And then we're gonna do the same for the rest of the folders. This is what my folder looks like right now. It looks so pretty and it matches very well with my screen. If you guys are wondering on how you're able to change your folders into other images, I will be showing you guys right now. So all you want to do is you're going to go to Safari. What, what is it that you want? You want to... Hmm, I'll give you an example. A cookie, okay? Let's do cookie PNG. So here at Cookie PNG, you guys can choose the images that you want. Say for example, I want to choose this one. This looks really cute. And then what you want to do here is you're going to right click and then you're going to save image. Say for example, you'll name it Cookie PNG. And then you're going to save that, right? So after you save that, it's already in your finders. And what you want to do, say for example, we'll make a, we'll make a new file, new folder. Let's say Cookie. Okay, so what you want to do right now is you're going to click on this, you're going to go to get info, and then you might want to drag this to the folder. But the thing is, you guys, it's not going to appear, so what you want to do is you go to the picture itself, scan it, press comment A, and it's going to scan everything. So now you're going to copy it by clicking on comment C, and then you go to this part, you're gonna go comment V. And that is it, you guys. You have your cookie as your folder. It looks so cute though. The next thing that I wanna show you is my analog clock screen. It is so cute, you guys. Here it is. See, it looks pretty, right? All you need to do is basically visit this website. You go to Chrome and then you're gonna go to flico.com. So this is basically the website and then you want to go to the top right corner that has three lines on it and you're going to scroll down a little bit and it shows here guys, it's free. You guys can get it and all you need to do is click on download and this will download at the bottom here. Let's minimize the screen and what you want to do is you want to click on the file and drag it to your laptop, like drag it to your desktop screen. Click on that. Um, and that data, I don't know, a file, whatsoever it's called. And then you're gonna click on that saver thing. Yeah, saver, you're gonna click on that and it automatically will appear to your desktop and screen saver page. And that is it, you guys. As you guys can see on the very top section, you guys can see everything is like blue here, right? Like on the views, the background is like blue. You guys can actually customize the colors. And if I'm not mistaken, these are called accent colors. We wanna go to system preferences and general. On general, here you go guys. There are a bunch of colors that you can choose from. There is purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, and green and gray. I think I'm gonna go for yellow because it looks so cute yeah see oh my gosh you guys yellow all right guys so the next thing that i want to show you i think that was the fourth and now we're moving on to the fifth is basically about docs and here at the bottom here as you guys can see these are called doc and you guys can actually customize that as well all you need to do is right click and then you're gonna go to doc preferences and if you guys want the dock to not show up, you guys can click on the automatically hide and show the dock. Obviously the dock will just disappear. It will only appear once you want them to appear. Some people actually prefer to have the dock hidden because they think that it's just 
like their desktop screen looks better without the dock. For me, I'm, I'm okay with having it. So I'm just gonna put them back. We're just gonna go and right click on it and just unclick the automatically hide and show the dock. So yeah, guys, that is basically it for the dock. We're moving on to Google. We just have to open Google. Let me just make the screen a little bit bigger. Yeah, and then we're gonna click on customize and upload from device. So whatever picture that it is you want, you guys can click on it and just press open. It looks so pretty, guys. This is what it looks like. Um, but the Google is not shown. So I'm gonna show you another picture, the pink one here. Open, done. Yes. So now I'm gonna talk about my collage, you guys, and how I actually made them into something like this. It's actually very easy. I make use of Canva. If you guys don't have Canva, you should totally sign up for Canva because Canva has a lot of things that you can do. Now we're gonna go to Canva right here. There's templates. You can choose as many templates as you want. These are boxes that I actually got from Canva as well. But the pictures itself, they're not from Canva, but I'll go on to that. If you guys wanna create your own design, it's very easy. All you need to do is go to all your designs and then you wanna go to create a design and custom dimensions. So it's gonna be a 1280 and 800 pixels. So we're gonna go and create design. And in this one, we're gonna have a blank page that you can just edit. For the pictures itself, we're gonna go to Pinterest because I got the pictures from Pinterest and there's so much that you can choose from you guys. If you guys wanna download the image, all you need to do is click on the three dots over here and you're gonna press download image. It will automatically download to your laptop and it will appear on your finders. You wanna go back to Canva and you're gonna drag the picture you save to Canva. And then you're gonna have the picture or the image here. And then you're just gonna move it, make it smaller and then choose whatever pictures that you saved. After you're done making your collage, you're just gonna save it. You can save by clicking on download. Make sure that it's PNG and click on downloads. If you guys click on download, it will automatically save to your finder and you have your collage. The thing is you guys, after you save your collage from Canva, it's gonna appear on your finders, right? You might wanna drag that to photos. You're gonna go to photos and you're gonna drag your image, your the picture that you want two photos and then my picture's already imported so I'm not gonna import again. It would automatically appear on your system preferences. You go to desktop and screen saver. You're gonna go to photos and you'll have your picture there. Hey guys, so that was basically everything I did to customize my MacBook. I hope it was useful to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next video guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.